All right, hello everybody. It is day two of your workout, and we are going to do squats. So we're gonna be working on your lower half and a little bit of the booty. So um, I just thought that I should share with you guys that um, since I have started working out, I have actually started to develop some muscles right here, and it's actually really nice. So um, I've always been a little bit self-conscious because back when I was in high school, um, middle school and high school, I was on a swim team, both through my school and then through our district, and I was a pretty good swimmer, but I've always had larger thighs, and I had a boyfriend tell me that I had thunder thighs, and it's always kind of been in the back of my mind, a self-conscious thing about the fact that I have huge thighs, and I don't know why I'm telling you all of that, but now I'm just sharing really personal information with you guys, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, so what we're going to do is a couple of squat activities today. So the first one is going to be your basic squat. So you're going to want to keep, keep your feet heel or shoulder width apart here, and then you're going to go down for a squat like this, and that's your basic squat. Now what's really important, I'm going to turn to the side here, what's really important about a squat is that all of your weight needs to be in your heels. So when you go down, you are literally leaning in your heels, and then you're coming back up. So it's very important also, when you go down like this, that you are not letting your knees go out or your knees come in. And I'm pretty sure that I checked my pants and I don't have any holes in my, my pants. Um, so I hope I don't flash any of you guys. So yeah, so again, a basic squat. We're gonna go down and we are going to go like this, keeping our back flat and come back up. And we're gonna push with our glutes and our thighs when we are coming back up like this. Now, what you don't know is that, what well, some of you may not know or may know, is that when you come up, what you want to do is squeeze your glutes up at the top so that you're getting the full workout of a squat. So we're going to come down, we're going to come back up, we're going to squeeze, and again, don't forget, we're making sure that all of our weight is in our heels. Now, when I started working out with Maggie, the biggest problem that I had was I couldn't do this over and over again because I, one, couldn't bend over all that way because of the weight in my stomach, but because it didn't feel comfortable either. So it's very important that in your squats, you go down as low as you can go. So if that means that you're just going to here, that's fine. You're still working it. As you go down and you come back up, you're going to be able to do more and more the more that you practice that. So again, so your form, and your focus is going to be heels, coming down, flat back, come up, squeeze the glutes up top, get your booty in shape, and we're gonna keep doing that, okay? So I'd like for you guys to do 10 of your basic squats. Now, when you get done with those, another way to really, really push the thigh workout, and by the way, I did a um, lower body workout just before I'm doing this video, so my legs are shaking. It was not my smartest move to do that. Anyway, so what the next move that we're gonna do is a pulse squat. So same thing, we're gonna keep our feet a shoulder width apart. We're gonna keep all of the focus in the back of our heels. And we're gonna come down into a squat and we're gonna hold it here. Now I'm gonna move to the side so you can see. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna pulse up and down just an inch. And you're just gonna come back up and down like this. Now again, we still wanna keep our back flat. We want to keep our knees in line. We want to keep all the weight in our heels. We do not want our knees coming forward like this because then you're putting stress onto your actual knees and you're not doing any of the focused workouts here. So we're just going to come down and we're just going to pulse it out just like this. And if you stay doing this for a little while, it's actually going to burn a little bit, which is really fun, especially after you've done a lower body workout because it's really burning. And so you're gonna to wanna to do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your level. And again, if you can only come down here, that's great. Just do this. And if you have really bad knees and you can't even come down that far, just lean and go down as far as you can. It's up to you, it's what you guys can do. So do that one for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then, whew, I am out of the breath. The last one that we're gonna to wanna to do is going to be a sumo squat. So this is what we're gonna do, shoulder width apart for our heels, but we're gonna turn our feet out that way, okay? 
And you're just gonna come down, do the same thing. Again, everything is in your heels. Come down, come back up. This is gonna be working some of our outer muscles. And I do the prayer hands. I don't know about you guys. I mean, you can keep them focused here. You can put them down here. I don't, I don't know, touch your face. Really, whatever you guys wanna do. So you're gonna just wanna come out and up. Make sure you squeeze at the top, which I was not doing a minute ago because I was still pulsing. Come back up, squeeze and back down. Again, keeping your focus on your heels. So there are your three squats that will help you get better, not thunder thighs. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm starting to see some muscle. It's really hard to show you um, from here, but I'm starting to see some really good muscle forming in my legs and I'm actually really excited about it. And, uh, and it will help you get a little bit of a booty. So there we go. Have a great day, you guys.